there's not a lot of details we get about Jesus's resurrected body. You get a few little snapshots, but I think the transfiguration is actually the clearest picture of what glorified humanity is going to look like. And you're like, why does it matter that I'm bright and shiny? Why does it matter that there's this light emanating? It, it's, it is a picture like, how do you speak of glorification? There's this weight of glory that will, I think, hum, humanity will have. And you even think about the Romans road. I didn't even make these connections before I wrote the book, but falling short of the glory of God. That's what it's described as. To sin is to fall short of the glory of God. And in the Jewish tradition, and I think in the scriptures, you can see there's something bright about the garden with the gemstones and the, yeah, in the Jewish tradition, it even speaks about them them being bright figures. So there's some imagery that's just traced throughout the Bible of the fall is darkness creation is light, right? Even he creates light out of darkness, separates the light from the darkness. And ultimately, this is an image of our longing to be glorified, to be united with Christ. It's to be transfigured. And in transfiguration, we don't lose our bodies. Our bodies are transformed. They're transformed. We then shine like Jesus shines. And light, yeah, light reveals things. Light has a sense of purity Light is representative of God throughout the whole Testament. He appears as fire often, so power. There, there's so much we could say about light is also blinding and revealing at the same time. Man, you just start like double clicking on light imagery in the scripture. You think about John 1, even though he doesn't narrate the transfiguration, he was the light of men, his light shone in the darkness. It's just, man, it's all over. So I, I'm saying a lot, but really the end of, the cross is not the end of the story. Jesus is encouraging the three disciples on the mountain that the goal of salvation is glorification, and we will share in that. And so it's just really good news for us. And we should spend more time thinking about this and looking at this event because it is this picture, this small picture of what is to come. And it should be an encouragement in the midst of suffering, in the midst of hard times, that this is not the end of the road.